I am heading off for a five day work trip and I'm going to be leaving my car at the airport. So uh, Monday to Friday and I'm sitting at 83%. So I know that if I turn the cabin temperature protection to off and sentry mode to off, uh, I will come back at the end of this trip with 82, 83%. So because I leave my car unplugged uh, with sentry mode and cabin protection off at home. So I know that there's no impact on that. But what is it like if I leave sentry mode on? I will turn off the cabin protection. So let's go ahead and leave it with the sentry mode as turned on. So let me go ahead. I'll show you that. So I'm going to leave sentry mode to on right there. And I'm going to turn, make sure I have cabin protection turned off. So those two settings I'm leaving. Now, if you want it to use minimal power, then go ahead and turn it to off. But I want to test out the sentry mode. And you can see right now I'm sitting at 83%. So like I said, I normally leave my car sitting at home uh, unplugged. And I do know that uh, if I left my car unplugged for a week, I'd lose maybe one or 2% at most. So I'm not testing that here. I know that that's how it's going to be. But let's see what happens if I leave the uh, sentry mode turned on parked at an airport, and then I'm going to check, just like I normally would, check on my car just to make sure everything is fine uh, throughout the week. I'll give a couple updates. Uh, what do I expect? I'm expecting to lose about 10% uh, a day, which is about 7 to 10 kilowatts. So in the cost of that, it's somewhere between a dollar and a dollar fifty. And so I'm fine with leaving sentry mode on for this period of time knowing that I'm protecting my car and I can capture any events if they happen and it's a minimal cost. Now, one thing that just to be aware is if you put sentry mode on and the cabin temperature thing uh, set to on, uh, it will stay active till your battery gets down to 20%, which at that point it will turn off sentry mode and the cabin temperature protection and then it will go to sleep and you won't lose any more energy. So it will maintain somewhere between 18 and 20% for an extended period of time. So I have no concerns. If I use all the way down from 83 down to 20, uh, not a big issue. I'm, like I said, I'm expecting about 10% to 12% per day. So I've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I'll be arriving Friday, so it's four days. So I'll be down somewhere around 40 to 50% is what my estimate is. So let's go ahead, let's uh, pack up and we'll get on the plane and then I will check in uh, throughout the week. And then on Friday, I'll go ahead and uh, update this video. So you can see right here, it's uh, today, it's Thursday, no, it's Friday. So today it's Friday at about five o'clock. I parked my car at the airport at around seven in the morning on a Monday. So we've got about four four days on it. I've left sentry mode on and I've checked the app and watched the sentry mode cameras twice per day throughout the trip. And I just wanted to see what kind of uh, battery range would be left. So from 82% on Monday morning, it's 55% right now. You can see that I do have the live cameras so we can go down into sentry mode and look uh, Friday we're looking at 55% now again if I did this test with it so if I did the test with it set to not have sentry mode running and all that it would still be 80% Sorry about that, that's uh, Harbor Air kind of taking off just over here, so I'm just waiting for my flight. Anyway, uh, when we get to my car, we'll go ahead and we'll take a look at it. Well, it's Friday and I've arrived back from my work trip over to Victoria. I left Monday morning at 7 a.m. 
It is now 7 p.m. on a Friday, so four and a half days later, and the test is now complete. So I did start with 83%, and let's go ahead and look at the screen. So I started the trip on Monday with 83%. I now have 55%. So that's a loss of just under 30%, which works out to about 20 kilowatt hours or about $3 charging at home. So what does this allow me to do? For $3, I have the peace of mind knowing that my car has been watching itself. Anyway, I hope this was an informative video. Again, in four and a half days with Sentry Mode turned on and checking my car twice a day, looking at the Sentry cameras, I lost 30% in four and a half days, which is nothing to worry about. If it were to get down to 20%, it would just stop doing that. So I'm really happy with the outcome of this. Anyway, thanks for watching.